In this Kittle tutorial, I'm going to cover something that we don't often think about when we look at Kittle. There's a lot of different templates, there's a lot of great graphics. However, I'm going to go up here to New Project on the right hand side. I'm going to pick a POD preset, let's say Merch by Amazon, and click Create. And over on the left hand side, there's actually a whole Photos option. And I'm going to give you five tips on how you can maximize your enjoyment of using these awesome photos inside of Kittle. Let's jump in. Okay, so to access the photos is pretty simple. It's on the left-hand side, there's a little camera icon, and then you're gonna get trending photos to start. So you can just scroll through and just see what you like. There's also a search option at the top. So I'm gonna type in dog, for example. We're gonna see what comes up here. We can see there's a bunch of cool dogs. Now my first tip is that if you like a certain type of photo, you can actually check out a certain artist. So for example, this dog with the pink background, I'm not going to click on the design just yet. I'm going to click on the little eye up in the top right. And we'll see that the photo is by a person named Perry from Unsplash. And what I can do is I can click on the person's name. That's going to take me to the Unsplash page. And I can see they've got 36 photos. And if you like the style of their photo, you can see other photos that they've got. You might find there's additional photos that you like. Tip number two is the adjustments tab. I'm going to pick another design here. All these dogs look great. I'm going to pick old dog here with the glasses. I'm going to make him nice and big. Now when you click on the photo, you're going to see on the right hand side some adjustment sliders come up. And depending on your monitor, you may have to scroll down to see these adjustments. So what you can do is you can flip the brightness. You can make the photograph brighter. You can also change the contrast. And you can also change the saturation. This can really modify the photo and make it completely different than what you had originally had going out of the gates. Now, if you don't like this, if you've modified it and you're like, huh, I don't really like this, click the reset button and that'll simply bring it back to what you've originally imported. Tip number three is a crop feature inside of Kittle. Now it's not super intuitive, so I'm gonna show you the process on how you can do this. You'll notice on the right-hand side, there's no crop button, but that's okay. I'm going to go over here to elements and I'm going to look for masks. I'm going to click show all and we're going to see a whole bunch of different masks. From here, I'm going to click on the square and now I can simply hover over the area that I would like this dog to be a part of. And then I'm just simply going to move this now to the back. I'm going to right click on the mask and I'm going to click to back. And now when I touch the photo, it's going to be eaten up by the mask. So you'll see there when I hover over the design now, it's now inside the square. Now you can move this around or you can also modify it, simply double click it. And now you can move inside and you can make the photograph larger or smaller. So just like that, you can crop your image pretty easily by using the mask feature. I wanted to point out as well, there's some really fun mask shapes. Like so for example, here's a heart. So I'm going to make this heart nice and big. I'm just going to change the background color here so we can see it a bit easier. There we go. And then over on the left, I'm going to click Photos. I'm going to scroll on down and pick another one. There's a nice looking doggy. And we'll make him nice and big. And we'll just sort of hover over the heart. And we can see now we have a beautiful design in just seconds. I'll double click it and I can move it to make it exactly how I would like. Tip number four is removing the background. Now some photographs have a white background and they're pretty easy to remove. So here's a great example. Or they're just a monochrome background, like one color background. Over on the right hand side, when you click the photograph, you're going to see an AI background remover. You simply click it and it will think. And, and this is going to be challenging because the dog has some white and there's also a white background. But look at that. The AI inside of Kittle is so smart, it not only knew where the dog was, but it also knew to remove the white background. The white dog stays and the white background's removed. That's pretty awesome. It doesn't have to be a white background either. Here's that dog with the pink background and I'll make him nice and big as well. And clicking the AI background remover makes life easy here for the dog. And I like this a lot because you can now use this as basically a PNG file. You can use it on a t-shirt, for example. You could basically remove the background. So I've got a black background here. I can just change the opacity down to zero. And now I could use this in a t-shirt. Tip number five is the blending mode. So I'm gonna scroll down here and find a cute little dog. And there we go. Gonna make him nice and big. And I'm actually gonna pick a background as well. So over on the left, I'm going to pick textures. And then on the top, 
next to text users' backgrounds. So from here, I can pick different types of backgrounds. So for example, I'm going to do clouds. I'm going to pick a cloud background. So we see it now is inside the Kittle template. And now I can make this dog merge into the clouds. Pretty easy to do. Now I'm going to do the background remover first so we get rid of the orange background. So now we've got the dog. I'll make the dog nice and big. Over on the right, you're going to see a blending mode. And you can just simply go down through the options. So there's color burn, for example. Multiply, I like that one a lot. There's an overlay and there's soft light as well. I really like soft light. Now, if it's a little bit weak, you can just right click and you can duplicate it. So copy, right click, and then paste. And you'll see it becomes a bit stronger because it's really two designs. And if it's too strong, you can also change the opacity at the top. So I could make it 25%, for example, and it's almost completely disappeared. Or you can go up to say 75% and it's a little bit stronger. And of course, 100 is full strength. So you can make it stronger and lighter depending. I really hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. I absolutely love using Kittle. It's so easy to use. It's fun to design. I'm going to put a link to Kittle in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link and that just means if you click on the link and you purchase Kittle, I would receive a small commission. I love being an ambassador for Kittle. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey using the superpowers of Kittle.